girlfriend naturally Rhonda here welcome back to my channel if you're one of my old-time subbies welcome back I love you for tuning in every week watching my videos thank you so so much and if you're new to my channel welcome 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 please stay a while check out some of my other content and subscribe if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up for today's wash and go Wednesday video I will be featuring two products from Shea Moisture. A few weeks ago, I did a wash and go featuring the Curl Stretch Put-In from Shea Moisture. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave that down below in the description as well as up above in the cards. Check that video out after you finish watching this video, of course. So in today's video, I'm gonna be using one of the products that I started my natural hair journey using. I use this all the time this is the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil i'm sorry i'm not sure if y'all can hear this i think one of my neighbors might be vacuuming out their car or something i have no idea but this loud noise is going on so i apologize if y'all can hear that anyways i used to pair the curl enhancing smoothie with the i think it's called like the curling gel souffle or the curl gel souffle something like that from the same line but today i will be pairing it with the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus anti-frizz max hold gel with silk protein and neem oil my hair is already shampooed conditioned deep conditioned and detangled so let's just get started with the wash and go first things first my handy dandy spray bottle of water I like to go in with wet hair. So if you've never used the Curl Hansen Smoothie before, it is a very thick and creamy consistency. So this is my hair with just the leave-in. Now I'm gonna go in with the gel, and this gel is thick. Going in with some more gel. This gel has a nice, it's thick, but not as thick as like a wet line or an eco, but it is still clumping my curls. All right, so this is what my first section is looking like. I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out once it dries, because this is not as thick as wet line for sure, but it is still clumping my curls some, so I'm just gonna keep going and I'll be back when the product is all in. So the product is all in and now I'm gonna go and sit under my hooded dryer actually no I'm gonna it's late I'm gonna wet plop my hair and then I'm gonna dry my hair in the morning but I will be back when my hair is all dry so I decided to air dry my hair because when I woke up in the morning I wanted to go for a walk and I figured I haven't air dried my hair in a very very long time so let me give it a go it's the next day the afternoon the next day and my hair is still not completely dry so I think because I've been out exercising and I slept on this 
the hair is frizzier than it would have been if I would have just went straight to the hooded dryer. But this is what it's looking like. I'd say my hair is maybe 75% dry right now and it's definitely frizzier than it would have been if I would have done my normal routine, but I'm going to now sit under my hooded dryer to completely dry my hair. And to be honest, I wasn't even sure if I was going to put this video out because I felt like this isn't the way I normally do my hair. But then I also realized that that's life. There are times when we cannot follow our hair regimen to a T and we have to just go with the flow. So I'm gonna show y'all how I go with the flow and it's more frizz, big hair don't care, okay? All right, so I am back. I was under the dryer for maybe about 15 minutes and these are my finished results. <laughs> As I said in the previous clip, this is frizzier than I intended it to be, but I still think it came out cute. So that's about it for this Wash and Go Wednesday video. This is the time in my video where I point your attention to some of my other content, like my Curlbox review playlist and one of my favorite Curlbox reviews. I love you for watching. Please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.